All right. All right, here we go. Woof. Now connect video source. So how are y'all? We're gonna get started in a second. I'm gonna put y'all over here. There we go. Go live. Alright. Good grief almighty. Alright. Hello oh, y'all. I'm so sorry. I was trying to figure out this whole, I got the thing on Facebook, but it's very different. So, if y'all are watching from Facebook, it's going to be different. Alright. So, I'm going to get y'all turned. So you can see what I'm doing. I think I figured it out, but then I had a problem. So I had to stop it and restart. But we're, we're going to get this figured out. <laughs> By the next time anyway. Alright, so. We're using this. We're doing another fall. Isn't that cute? And look, we're going to put these little leaves and pumpkins on it. Oh, this is such a nice fan. Y'all, it is so hot. Okay. We have a cranberry mesh and an orange mesh. I cut all these at 30 inches. I kept curls at 8 inches. And I thought I would show y'all another way you can use your mesh roller. So. I don't think I've ever shown y'all this. The supplies are listed. Yes, they are. And today we're only going to be using two ribbons. And then I pulled out a couple extra for the bow, just kind of scraps. All right. We're going to use the comb. And so you can see on the comb, it has markings. So this slot is 10 inches, 11, 12. 13 and then this is 14 so we're going to do 12 inches which is right here see this is 10 11 12 so we're going to do that what second comb this one now this is what i want you to see you know how sometimes when you're rolling out your ribbon to do something it just kind of it's difficult you can put them on your mesh roller and use it from there all right, so we hold the two up top. Watch how much easier this is. I just have to hold it there long enough to get the first set started. Okay. Now I'm not having to fight with the ribbon because I can just pull it through. So three, four. See how I just keep pulling it out? This is six, seven, <clears throat> and yep, I like to do them both at the same time. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're doing just two ribbons, remember? So we got to do enough of them. 11. I think I might cut it off at the bottom and then do the rest. Because if you get too many, it's easy to get lost how many you've cut, how many you've done. So I just trim it off at the bottom, all right, and then slide it out like that then you just cut this end how are y'all and this end let's see how many we got one two 
three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven there. Then we just fold it in half, cut at an angle towards the top. We're making a fall wreath with fall leaves. Look at that. I'm excited. Okay. So that's seven. Let's see how many we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 13. So we need five more. Okay. There's that. Okay, so 13 of them. You see how fast that is? We need five more. So see what I do is I just put them on top of each other like this. Grab this. Go to the 12. All you have to do is hold it while you're getting it started. The um, ribbon ruler is in my shop. It's called the comb. C-O-M-B. It's called the cutout material board. It's just shophardworkingmom.com. Okay, so that's three, four. So see, each one up is one. So one, two, three, four, like that. Five. That's it. So we got all of them done. So what do y'all think of using this? Isn't that awesome? Hello. Okay. Now I can zoom in here a little. Okay. And for those of y'all in my group, once I get all this stuff figured out with Facebook and Mevo, I will update our training because it is very different. <laughs> it's very different. Okay. There we go. Sometimes I like to use just two ribbons. For one, it's more economical. And for two, I kind of like that consistent look all the way through. All right. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So I want to just make sure y'all can see. All right, now, wait that way, okay. Now we're gonna start with our mesh. Let me move all my little tools out of the way. So we're gonna alternate these mesh and then we're gonna put in our curls and then our ribbon. I love these colors for fall. These are really great colors for fall. Hello. Okay. All right, so what we're doing is we just take it, flatten it down a little bit, take our tool, slide it in, and push with our thumb. Just push it straight up with your thumb. All your hands are doing is just kind of making sure that the mesh stays in the middle. If it doesn't, you can pull it from side to side and fix it. Now it's totally normal that it has, like it's not gonna be straight all the way down, right? It's gonna look like a bow tie, right? So you have your little sides. It's supposed to look like that. Kinda like a butterfly body. Oh, the rickrack? <laughs> yeah, so I was going to show you all that rickrack because it's a really great option if you don't want to use this ribbon or if you want to add another one. This rickrack works really well with this as well. So that's what I got that out for. All right, so we'll put some of that rickrack in the bow. All right, 
just straight up. You see how much faster it is just pushing it? I do like to tuck my edges under just to make sure I don't have to deal with all that fraying. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna put these two together and pull up the ruffle. So we just pull them right against each other all the way up like that. Now on this, you could either use an orange frame or a tan frame or a burgundy frame. You could use a green frame. I probably wouldn't do yellow, but you probably could get away with it. want to, let's see, what do I want to do? Do I want to do alternate? Yeah, let's alternate. Alright, so we just take these two ribbons, fold them in half. How do you make comments go away? I think you just slide to the left. I believe it's left. And then it sh they should go away. Hi. So we're just going to tie that on, clip it off, and then pull this out front. Now if you want to see a lot of the leaves, remember just to put that one on top. Okay. So we just grab our little curl. And it goes. I can put that Rick Rack in your box. Well, I created a bunch of signs today, so we're going to be doing something with that Rick Rack soon. We got some supplies in. Not all of them are listed yet, but we're working on it. Let me make sure everything looks good on here. make sure I can see what whoops well I can't get anything on Facebook to show me what it's doing hopefully it's working because I can't tell Dollar Tree at the Dollar Tree frame. Let me see if I have one. Oh, let me turn the sound off. There. All right, here's the Dollar Tree frame. This is just a plain raised frame. Can you see the difference between a raised frame? that and then this frame so there's not a whole lot of difference size wise the biggest difference is that it has the um, I think that's the one it has the elevation on it yeah happy birthday do you know that it's Tori's birthday too <laughs> I mean isn't that funny I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. Slip it in. Two of my best girls, and they both have birthday. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. 
because I can't really see it, so it's hard for me to tell. Thank you for letting me know. Alright, and we're going to spread out this mesh. You want to know what the number is on the Rick Rack? Hold on. It's RG2028J8. RG2028J8. Yeah, I brought it in here because I was earlier, I was trying to decide which ribbons I was going to use. And that's just my watch telling me I hit my miles, my steps. <laughs> Which doesn't happen. It happens too often, actually. Not that it makes any difference. Yeah, y'all went out and celebrated your birthday last night, didn't you, Z? Or wait, no, it was Tuesday night. You went out Tuesday night. Right? Isn't this pretty? With the two colors together? Alright. There we go. It should be listed. Let me know if you don't see it. If not, I'll list it when I get off here. See how I kind of pull them up like this? They're going to kind of get pushed down anyways. So I kind of want to make sure they're already doing that. And I kind of pull up and... You missed the sign? I have another sign, but I didn't get a chance to list it. I can show it to you if you want, but I haven't listed it yet. I love this kind of burgundy color for fall. Yeah. Today, I think it's her actual birthday, right? It is, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Wait till y'all see. Here, I'll grab it. Hold on. anywhere belly this is the other sign I made so see you could use this one as well and then this is what we're doing next week because oh it's upside down <laughs> I was trying to plan out my week I'm, I'm trying to get more proactive about planning out my week which I will tell y'all it's really hard for me because I kind of design on the fly. It's just kind of how it works. Oh, and if I didn't tell y'all, happy Designing Gals Thursday. Hopefully y'all watched um, Burlap Boutique and Door Designs. Okay. I don't know if Katie is back yet online. You know, she's been taking care of her mom. I don't know if she has started back yet or not. It's not listed. Okay. I will get it listed as soon as we get off of here. No worries. Don't you? I love the signs. I was having too much fun. <laughs> I love making signs. I don't know why I seem to think that I need a new sign every time I go live. What is it that I'm using? Do you mean this? This is a Deco Mesh Ruffle Tool. It's on my shop. It's just shopparkworkingmom.com. Okay. 
Yes, squirrel. Exactly. Oh, awesome. You can get it in my shop. It's just um, shophardworkingmom.com and it's the Deco Mesh Ruffle Tool. Z, could you throw her out a link, please? Okay. Hello, how are you? I, I, hey. You want to come here for a while and I'll go to Nova Scotia for a while because it is so stinking hot here. <laughs> Z and I have talked many times about how we're going to like move to Iceland or we're going to move to Alaska or something where it's not so hot. I want to live where it's not so hot. But, yeah. Oh well. It is very easy to use. My friends can tell you I've been working on that tool for five years. A light pink and gold wreath. Okie dokie. That's funny. I was planning out some of my um, Christmas in July stuff. And I pulled out pink and red and green. I'll have to see what I can do for pink and gold. That sounds pretty. We're doing a, um, yeah, Antarctica. That's it. <laughs> Antarctica. Yeah. It's already, it's like, I don't know. Is it like a hundred today? It feels like it. You know, when you pull up on your computer and the computer says something like heat wave or hot, you know, in red, it's hot. It's so hot. Whew. I've lived in the south most of my life, but I would be okay going north. My family doesn't feel exactly the same, but I think it's a grand idea. There we go. 105 is entirely too hot. Share Bear is going to come do group with us tonight. Y'all can reminisce about Arizona. <laughs> okay. Here we go. See how they get squashed when I'm kind of working around them. And six. See, that is that is just it's just hot. It's hot. I just I don't know about that hot. Three days off. Wow. Three days off is nice. Oh, is it? Yeah. Her son's in, I think her son's in Little Rock. And he keeps trying to talk her into moving there and she's like, nope, I'm not coming back. <laughs> now, if he had kids and she had a grandchild, she'd probably change her mind. <laughs> like I like doing all curls I like doing curls and ruffles 
Sometimes we do curls on the bottom, ruffles on the top. Sometimes we do woodland ruffles. But I like to add curls most of the time. I think, I was thinking next week we might do a wreath with 21 inch mesh. It's been so long since we did that. I thought we could do a couple cute little ways to do it. Yes, enjoy your days off. colors these are awesome fall colors nothing like a little burgundy in the fall this is 10 inch mesh and it's cut 30 inches long understand that two thousand dollars for fireworks thing okay you want like special signs like signs that I designed if you do just email me it's Lori L-O-R-I at hardworkingmom.com and I will hook you up I am going to do a video with all of the 21. I think we're settled enough now I could do that. I want to do some other stuff too, like just some fun decorating things. And some actual like videos that I record ahead of time. In case something happens and I can't be on here and just to kind of have something to watch where do I buy my shipping boxes so I buy my shipping boxes from a local place if you will get on Google and just search for um, local box manufacturers near me and see if there's one in your area if there's not because th that's going to be your cheapest option they'll also have a lot of different sizes also, you can, um, you can buy them from Uline. That's a really good one. Sometimes you can get them on Amazon. You can also get boxes shipped to Lowe's and Home Depot for free if you go on their website and order them. They have that ship to store. Thank you. And that's really handy because you don't have to pay, I mean, because it stinks, right, to pay shipping for a shipping box. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's aggravating. I don't want to pay shipping for a shipping box. I just want it to come. Oh. <laughs> Is she throwing you over for someone else? She wouldn't do that. There we go. Since Bree is on leave for a little while, I was thinking of putting Z in charge of customer service. Don't y'all think that's a great idea? I think it is. you got your tool and you like it that makes me happy all right hold on I'm dehydrating oh I 
think that's awesome. Wreaths make a great present. Granger, there you go. And if you have a local one, you can pick them up. That's the other thing. So if you have a local box manufacturer near you, they'll let you come pick them up for free. So we do. Now ours get delivered. As long as we order over like $200 or something like that, they'll deliver them for free. All right, so we'll start on the top. So that's a pretty good deal because then, you know, it's pretty easy to get free boxes. I mean, free delivery. <laughs> we have to pay for the boxes. <laughs> but I'll tell you, they're a lot cheaper than what I used to pay. So, yep. Hey, anytime y'all want me to design special signs for some class you're doing, or you want me to put kits together, just send me an email. I'll be happy to do that. I don't mind doing that at all. I actually have done it a few times in the past. I have a lady I work with who I design kits for every year. Allow gifts. It's a great gift to give Reese is what I mean. That's what I started out doing. Well, actually, I put them on my door at work and they sold off my door. But in the beginning, I just gave them away. I'm working on it. I'm making more rounds. I probably make more rounds than anything else. Oh, and we're going to start listing um, little shapes that you can paint and put on your wreaths and stuff. Oh, you got your tool, yay. Okay. How tall is my mesh roller? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, let's see, maybe I can measure it out with this. About 14 inches tall. It's about 14 inches tall. Alrighty. Do you prefer round? I like round too. Rounder have become my favorite. But sometimes I like the square ones. I like the square ones better when I'm doing um, like grapevines. But, and I think we got the round frame figured out, the interchangeable frame. So I wanna test it out and then They want to stick together. But look how pretty those colors are together. You use extra, wait, you use extra long, oh, garlands. Absolutely. Hey. You can actually make your own um, evergreen wreath just with garlands and a wreath braid. I mean, that's all they do. So y'all, I've heard that the evergreen cost, you know, the evergreen wreaths are going up a lot this year. So just buy some inexpensive garlands and make your own, we'll have to do that. We'll have to do that. We'll have to make our own garland our own evergreen wreath with the garland. Yep. 
that'll be fun. Okay. There we go. Spreading it out. And of course, I always spread out my ribbons on the top. So you can see all the pretty ribbon. They get kind of big once I start fluffing them out. I will tell you, so if you have, if you're shipping wreaths, am I able to do a doormat? Uh, yeah. If you're doing door wreaths, like let's say your wreath is 24 inches, you really want to put it in a 22 by 22 box. It just is going to protect the wreath better and it costs a whole lot less than sending it in a 24 box. Okay, let's see. Whoop. Hold on, these two are. Oh, they were caught together. Sometimes the mesh does that. Okay, what you saying? How many rolls of mesh does it take for a wreath? Okay, so we usually use two rolls of mesh for one wreath. Now, it's going to depend on how large of a base you use, but generally for this base, we use two mesh and at least two ribbons. You know, the Z has an email, a hard working mom email address too. I don't know why you don't use that instead of Facebook, girl. Okay. I will tell you that the, the parcel path and pirate ship Shopify and Etsy all have about the same price for shipping. And I'll tell you right now, the post office is cheaper than UPS. UPS has kind of jumped their prices up. That's something we've started figuring out lately. So, that's the way it goes. They like to. Woo! They like to go up on those prices. I know it's the gas stuff, but. It is pretty, right? I love this. This color is called cranberry. So it's, it's a burgundy color. It's really pretty. I mean, it does kind of look like cranberries. Mama Sue is my mama. And I know y'all think that she is entitled to every wreath I make. <laughs> but some of these I, I do have to list and sell. <laughs> not, not that I'm good about it. If she wants something, you don't have to worry. She will tell me in no, no uncertain terms that it's coming home. <laughs> so y'all don't have to worry. If she wants it, she gets it. And for those that don't watch me very often, my parents live with me, so we decorate in my house with a lot of wreaths.
Mom, did Dad tell you that he wants to do his x-ray by himself? <laughs> what? I'm going to have to go to I'm going to have to go to Sam's. I wish they'd come out with fall stuff. I mean, the summer stuff is good, but summer goes by so fast. <laughs> First dibs for mama. <laughs> okay, the twins are doing good. So, Jackson is home. I actually got to see him yesterday. He's so stinking cute. And then um, Avery should be home in a week. So yeah, they're doing good. Bree's doing good. So they're all they're all learning their schedule and you know. So that's good. They're doing really good. Sam's now does spring and summer and Christmas. So they had ribbon out this summer. Thank you. They sure did. And it was good, pretty good ribbon. And they had little trucks out. I wanted one of those trucks. I never could find one. Those are really cute to decorate and put outside on your little patio porch. So, I wanted to make one of those for my mom, but I never could find it. Okay. I tell you, that's one of the reasons why I made this into a business so my husband couldn't ask me what I was spending on craft supplies. Like, oh, that's all business stuff, honey. Okay. Like, I had to open a business so I could uh, support my ribbon addiction. I thought you had, like, a new craft room. Didn't you see? <laughs> no, my husband never cared. He was always good. A Harry Potter sign? Harry Potter signs are very hard because of the copyright thing. I'll have to see if I can come up with some variation that's not copyright. Cranberry is such a pretty color, isn't it? Oh, and um, for those of y'all that were watching last night, I don't know how, but that orange with the check stuff in it, we do have some of that, and for some reason, it got archived. So it is relisted. So if you didn't get black and gold football sign, now that I can do easily. If you were looking for it and you didn't get it, it should be out there now. <laughs> um, I just guess because, like, you know, if you want to go out and buy something, if you go out and you'd rather buy ribbon than shoes or, you know, something for yourself, if you're going to spin it on ribbon instead of buying something for yourself, I think that's why they call it a ribbon addiction. It's just a funny way of saying we really, really like ribbon. <laughs> I really, really like ribbon. There we go. 
Okay. Ooh, this is so pretty. You wish. Oh, you don't have Sam's? Costco. Costco has ribbons at Christmas. I don't know if they did at spring, but they did at Christmas. Yep. I don't know what happened. It just disappeared. Wait, I don't know. Something weird's been kind of going on with Shopify lately. It's like things getting archived that shouldn't be. I don't know what it is. But we're trying again to figure it out. Our shipping's been weird. I don't know if it's the theme we have is not compatible anymore. I don't know. Something weird's going on. There. Just making sure that bottom isn't getting squashed because sometimes it will. We'll have to go back and straighten the bottom, but I can make personalized signs. Thank you. Okay. No ribbon at Costco, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. It was hard to find the ribbon at my Sam's. I mean, usually it's like on an end cap, but not this time. It was not. It was like weird. Okay, so there it is. Really pretty. Look at that. Wait, this way. <laughs> See? Look how pretty that is. Alright. So let's Zoom in a little. Pull out. My bone maker. I don't know if we're going to put the bow on the wreath or just make a bow. But we're going to go ahead and put mesh down. I just like to do this because it makes your bow fluffier. Here, we'll use a little bit of that. And then I'll make sure it's listed. So see, I still have my ribbon over here. And we'll be able to use it right from there. We'll start off with our orange on the bottom. I'm just using kind of some of the scrap ribbon I have. I always have scrap ribbon around. Oh wow, that's scary, Karen. You be careful. Riots are no thing to be messing around with. Okay. Let's do... Let's do three loops at six inches. Scary, scary business. There we go. So three. Okay, just pull it out, trim it off. See, and I have a little thing of scrap ribbon sitting over here in my little shelf, and then I can just grab them when I need them. Okay. going to put in, so this is our focal ribbon. Your Costco is selling the same ribbon oh, for the same ribbon two years in a row? <gasps> no! That is not good. They need to at least be a little inventive. I 
have not gotten ribbon from Costco in a long time. Were you twins born at thir Ross was born at what well, he was born at 30 he was three weeks early. But he only had to stay in the hospital for a couple days. So we were lucky. Carson was almost born at 24 weeks, but thankfully they were able to stop it and I just stayed on bed rest. Oh, this is so pretty. You see how it has that little bit of the orange glitter in it? Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Alright. See, you could use a ribbon like this. I think we're going to save this because I want to show you the other one we're going to do. Oh, I think it's here. It would work with this sign too, but see, I have this sign. You see this sign and how it works really well with that sign? So that's kind of what I was planning on. And then I made that sign. I love this one. This one says, double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. That's cute. I love making signs. Woo! Yeah, that's about what Bree's were. They were... 26 weeks and just like just barely right at two pounds just or slightly under Ross was six pounds and he was three weeks early I kind of hate to think Carson was two weeks early and he was eight pounds so <laughs> I would hate to think what my children would be if they had gone full term why I had them early. It's like, yeah, that needs to come out now. <laughs> All right, so let's run our zip tie under here. I want to show y'all this other ribbon that I was going to put with, probably put with this one, but I'll show you. All right. Grab out a zip tie. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? All right, so we look for the indention right where that bow maker was, and we slide it around. Just get it started. I just like to make sure everything's in place, kind of, at least in the general area. in the butt too. I do too. Alright. We're going to do that one next week. Alright, so now we're going to... Oh, did Mama claim the wreath? Okay. Well, you know, she's always got to have a new one for every season, so I'm not surprised. So we're just going to twist and pull. Make sure that ribbon is fluffed out really well because that's how we get our nice, pretty fluffy bows. And then we just pull down on the tails like this. See how pretty that is? Look at that. Remember, if you have trouble getting the zip tie pulled and just kind of twist and pull with your pliers. There's also a zip tie tool, which I can never remember the name of. See, isn't that pretty? All right. What mailbox is better? Uh, what method is better to use when you're working with uh, 
30 inch with 10 poofs. I usually do, so if I'm going to do poofs, I usually do 20 or 30 inch ruffles is usually what I do. Okay. All right. So see, this could go with either side, this wreath. So if we put the, I think we will put the bow on, it's pretty. Let's put the bow on. So I just pick a place and you, it's open on both sides, right? So you just go around down, around it. So that mesh on the bottom will keep it from getting sunken into the wreath. And see how we put that little bit of orange on the bottom I know, it's getting really bad with the spam stuff lately. It's annoying. Yeah, just knock them out. So there's the bow. Let me make y'all a little bit bigger now. All right, there's the bow. And then, see we only use two ribbons and there's quite a bit of this ribbon left on both so we can use this side here, or where's the other one? We could use this side, what we like. This one, I think we should do this one because it stands out on the wreath a little better. When I do this one, well, I don't know. I don't know what colors I'm gonna do with that one yet. And I wanna put some of these in. So let's do this. Thank you. I love it too. So I wanted one that had leaves in it because our ribbon has leaves, our sign has leaves, and then we have this set of leaves. So it's going to work really well together. I mean they both have leaves in them, both of the signs. Yeah, you need the sign to pop. So that's how you do it, right? If you're in here and you're kind of trying to pick out what sign and... Hey, Kim! And things, you want something that's going to have some different colors than what's in your wreath or something that's going to pull out a lighter color. So you see how there's a lot of this kind of sandy, beigey, tan color in it? There's some of that in the ribbon, and that's going to pull that out. And then that sign is really going to stand out. Yes, a natural jeep. Oh, I have a plan for the square sign. I'm not sure about the... I'm not sure about the um, membership thing. It went by too fast. I didn't get to read that. Okay. Yeah, it's really cute. It says, Welcome Fall Pumpkins 50 Cents. Um, so it's not really called Soul Sisters anymore. We just, um, we call it Designing Gals. Because a couple of the Soul Sisters are working full time and there's not really doing much crafting anymore. So we just kind of go by designing gals. So it's Sheer Bear and Amanda have full time jobs. So alright. We're gonna use our weaving needle. It's not a sign of ribbon set, it's just one sign and then it's just two different ribbons. I didn't do a ribbon set with it because I just sort of ran out of time. I mean, these ribbons got here just a little while ago. I just didn't have time to... I will try to make a sign of ribbon set for tomorrow, though. So... Hmm. Huh. I put 
poked myself with the wire. This is Designing Gals right now. Designing Gals Thursday at 5. That's us. Although Sherry Bear's now living in the city where I live, well, close. She's living very close to where I live. And so she's been coming over and hanging out with me some more. So she's actually going to help me in my design group some. So the people in my group will get to see her. All right, so I'm just tying it off. Remember, you want your side to kind of float. So you want to be able to kind of almost stick your hand under there. You don't want it to just kind of float on top. All right. Let's kind of straighten out our ribbons a little. There we go. Like that. Just kind of pulling them out. Straighten them out a little bit. And then we're going to put some of these leaves on. She was trying to get us to all lose weight, huh? I wish there was a magic pill. If there was a magic pill to lose weight, um, I'd be the first one to take it. But unfortunately, there's just not. That stinks, doesn't it? I want a magic pill. There are no magic pills. All right. This. This has a lot of stuff in it. It has a lot. So I'm just going to pull these out so we can get a lot more out of it because there's all these different pieces. It's got the pine cone. It's got leaves. It has these cute little berry things. They're just kind of all stacked in here together. There we go. All right. Now, so what I'll do is I'm going to put glue on this. Mm. I got to turn my glue up. All right. So we'll glue on it. And I'm going to glue it. To, to where the, um, the little tie is. Look how cute that is! Oh. All right. Let's put one like down here at the bottom, kind of, like down here. You want to make sure you glue it right to that tie because that's where it'll hold. Yeah, everyone claims to have one. You're right. They, they claim it, but they lie because there's no magic pill. If there was a magic pill, we'd all be thin, right? We would, but we're not. Okay, there we go. That's cute. sure I got that in there. I think I cut that too long. Hold on. There we go. There. Alrighty. some in the bow if you want or just keep putting it around let's put one up 
in here. Okay. Whatever you do, make sure it is hitting that tie, otherwise it will not glue. It'll pop right back out. We can put a little bit in the bow. If I put a little in the bow, mom for sure will claim that. <laughs> what do you want to bet? She'll be like, you put stuff in the bow. I want it. Thank you for stars. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay. Just about done. Let's put our pine cone in. We've got, oh, we got this little stick thing. And we've got green leaves. These are pretty. We just got these in today, too. So, I'm going to right to the little tie. Ooh, that's cute. over here maybe near our sign has a little stick Put a little stick in there there we go and last but not least our little pine cone let's put let's put our little pine cone right in there stuff in the bow is just for you See what I tell y'all. <laughs> Mama sees stuff in the bow and she thinks she has to have it. <laughs> All right. There we go. All done. All in there. What do we think? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. See all the little stuff in it? See the bow, the sign. Ah, so pretty. Awesome. All right, let me see if I can grab that other ribbon. Right, Bella? This is what. I was going to use the rickrack with. Can you see it? See, it's got the yellows. It has orange and it has cranberry in it as well. So that's kind of what I was thinking. Thank you. All right, y'all, this was fun. So, and you only needed two. So you only needed two ribbons for this. And it looks awesome you didn't have to use more than the two. So don't always think that you have to use four ribbons in a wreath because you don't. You can totally do two ribbons and it's still gonna look just as pretty. It's all about just picking the colors. So. All right, y'all have a wonderful night. And I will see you guys. Thank you. I will see you guys um, maybe tomorrow. I know for sure that Tori is going to do the um, the hat. She's going to make a scarecrow with a hat. And I think next week Casey's going to make a witch hat with it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I have a lot of ideas. <laughs> All right. Oh, I do have this one thing we're going to do maybe next week. I don't know where I put it though. Oh. So, we're going to decorate this thing. So, this is one of our door hangers. See, I painted both sides. But I'm going to put some glitter in here on the face. Some black glitter. And then we're going to put mesh and ribbon all the way around this sucker. So I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about that. So that's going to be fun. Little skeleton guy. 
All right. Okay. Well, y'all have a great night. Thanks for coming and joining me. And I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. I have to think about what I'll do. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. Yes, we do. 7 o'clock tonight. Bye, y'all. Okay. I have.